Your one and one Biscuits facing off against Bish Please. I don't know if that's the best team name in the league or the worst or a little bit of both. Professor facing Smallpox in the first. Professor beat the Biscuits two years ago. Bases loaded two outs. Smallpox hits a little grounder up the middle. He just beats it out and two runs are going to score. Bottom of the first. A slim down Professor facing a slim down Mippy. It makes a play to preserve the perfect game. Then Mippy later on gets his first dong of the year and then the bats just explode. Oh my! There it is! Yep. Oh my goodness. 19 runs later and Grizz comes in <laughs> trying to complete the perfect game and he blows classless away. Well, it hit the bat or er, it hit the back Second straight the week the biscuits throw a combined no hitter. Game two, pins and biscuits against the Brewers. Potential playoff matchup. Smallpox, first batter of the game. Two batters later, Mippy. That's a dong, Bob. I swear there's a dong behind Two Bat's arm right there. And it's 3 0. They blitz Web Gem in the first. Web Gem in a jam in the second, but he gets out of it by getting Grizz to get out for one of the only times this year. Great athleticism from Thunderson on that play, keeping the score three nothing, and then the Brewers start chipping away. Three to one on a web gem bomb. Three to two on an old yeller bomb. Austin seven. Thunderson looking to tie it up, but Mippy with a 48-inch vertical robs the home run. Still three two in the fifth, and Grizz provides some insurance over the two-inch vertical of baby face. Let's get a low def replay of that. Yeah, if only he had some ups, he maybe could have caught it. Five to two biscuits, baby face then leading off the sixth, and it's not over yet, folks. Fun fact, he's a Fridley Factor. Making the Fridley Factor Wiffle Ball League proud, except he's facing another Fridley Factor Wiffle Ball player there. Striking him out. Biscuits win. Five to three. Three and one. One game back of the Cannonballers.